Now we are going to play for you the voice of Femi Adesino. <laughs> Do you know why those scholars someone the courage to ask that question? Because of what we are doing in IPOB, we have opened their eyes. The eyes and ears of people are now open. Forget all the things they tell you. They all listen to Radio Biafra because they know that I speak the truth. They know that I've been ordained by heaven to preach the gospel of redemption, not just for Biafra, but for everybody. And they know it. Now, listen, let us hear what the presidential spokesman has to say. After, should I say, I'll say months, after months of lying and deceiving themselves, finally they have admitted it, that when I was telling you it was recorded, somebody wrote and said, oh, forget it, it's recording, it's nothing. I said, what do you know? What do you know? If you have a president and in the midst of crisis, that president cannot, even if he's on a sick bed, to address the people. And you can fault Buhari anyhow you like, to be honest with you. One thing you cannot accuse the late Buhari of is abandoning the north. A whole canoe. His, his, his bedrock. Canoe, which is his strongest base. Dying like this and he will not say something. Oh, uh, it's not Buhari now. That means you, you, don't, you don't even know him very well. That was when I knew that Buhari was a no, no confirmation that he's no more. And I thought that people who claim they went to school will be able to understand that. That this man is no longer there. But you know what they did? Oh, oh forget now. It doesn't matter. Uh, he, he, he should be not the only broadcast. <laughs> Zoo. That is why they are experimenting with you. Because you have no brain. You cannot reason. A whole president cannot address the people live. That means he's dead. Life means living. People who are living. Recorded means people who are dead. So you don't know that before? Let us hear what uh, Femi Adeshino has to say. They wanted to stop this broadcast. They know it is an earthquake. It will crumble whatever is left. That Those rooms that coronavirus hasn't entered in Asorok, it will enter it tonight. Now but it will enter there. Let us uh, listen to Femi Adeshino squirming and lying. Look at his eyes. Listen, our president, the, his speech is not always live speech. Mm -hmm. Like the last speech that he gave was leaked. I want to know why it was leaked. Even as he was reading it on the television, I've already read it. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. What you read on the internet was not the authentic version. <laughs> it was an early version early. that a mischief maker got hold of and released on social media mm -hmm. and there were so many discrepancies between that version and the final version and then why is it not live not all broadcasts are live <laughs> not all broadcasts are live presidential broadcasts are really live <laughs> they are really live they are pre-recorded pre-recorded one or two hours before broadcast are you listening are really live honestly it is it is very important that we inform here that a president that was elected by nigerians mm -hmm. eh, can be called to be spoken to nigerians at any point in time and it beats my imagination mm -hmm. that each time you are being interviewed the way you speak to nigerians you speak to nigerians as though nigerians are just used tissue paper uh -huh. these things are, these <laughs> are not are not good at all That's it, you know? Well, for you, you to come here way, with your level of education the way you to tell see yourself if you choose to see yourself as used tissue paper then <laughs> you are speaking with nigeria so you have to at least give us some respect <laughs> they are tissue paper to us. Yeah, we are <laughs> and you are appointed by him so whatever it is that we are asking or they are talking well, i mean talking to you about mm -hmm. you should be able to at least answer us with respect these are nigerians so not their friends so nigerians, nigerians. Or, um someone is uh, they refer to himself as tissue paper and you can't help that you don't have to talk to us like that i don't know i don't know i don't know why this arrogance and everything i don't know they're arrogant because you're stupid Elua, thank you thank you for calling mr rational mm -hmm. just congratulations to Elua. if that's the way he sees himself he's welcome to mm -hmm. on a moral ground mm -hmm. the president is supposed to have a media chart Media chat is too low. Especially mm -hmm. on this present crisis. Of present crisis. Somebody is asking the president should have a media chat live. Listen. 
What's in Thank you, Larico. Mr. Alishino. Thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a matter, it's a matter of opinion and a matter of style. Style. If the president chooses to adopt the broadcast style. <laughs> the broadcast style, newscaster. Newscasting. He, president. He call school days, depending on what he studied, in the stylistics class, you are told. That's now, it, we are not in the stylistics class. From presidency to stylistics. So when you were asking for people to, to reach into power, you didn't talk about stylistics. All of a sudden, we are now into stylistics. It's not style. It's a question of style. <laughs> they think that they think they're going to a tissue paper. As somebody said, that is the way they treat you. You allowed them to treat you like a tissue paper. That is why he can come out on, the, uh, on national radio and be talking rubbish. Rubbish. He should be going to prison. They are all going to jail. Do you know why? Boris Johnson will not defend them. Trump cannot defend this type of attitude. Boris Johnson is a good man. Boris Johnson is one of the few leaders of the world that has conscience. He can't support this rubbish. That was why they ran to China. They brought this jubilee matter to Boris Johnson. He told them to get away from London. Come on, get away from here. They ran off and they ran to China. Can you imagine? He, a Nigerian called and said, you are treating us like a tissue paper. He said, okay, if you see yourself as a tissue paper, it's okay. <laughs> hey, oh, zoo, zoo, alumni. <laughs> zoo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The most popular, super populous uh, giant of Africa. To look at the, the mess you are making of yourselves an absolute and complete mess that was why facebook did not want us to broadcast this evening mess complete and utter mess in the zoo let's uh, let's uh, finish sharing from uh, from mr forger semi additional the photoshop expert a seasoned criminal and liar a seasoned criminal and a liar what does that mean it doesn't get it from person style differs that is the style of this president all of a sudden another president will come and he will adopt a different style so the style that this president has adopted stylistics let's accept it and let it suffice for us yeah my direct question to mr additional is that uh listen what has happened to Dazuki and this other shy guy why do i see holding on to them despite uh, call judgment on the on, on, on their on their on their release. Why is he holding on to them? All right. He has now. Uh, have you ever heard him? <laughs> it is now a question of st stylistics. You are now into stylistics governance. And what is that stylistics? It is that a president can choose whether to give live broadcast or not according to his style, even in a national emergency. When people are dying like flies in canoe, the same people that voted for uh, for Buhari or voted in the name of Buhari. Uh -huh. Hey, zoo, zoo, legendary zoological republic. And if he doesn't have the answer, listen. I want him to encourage the president to come out and speak. Come out and speak. Coming out to address us, as in to have a media chat mm -hmm. with the press, so that from there you can speak to us. Okay, Vikuli, thank you for calling me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Look at his face. To encourage Mr. Vikuli not to continue to sound like a broken record. You sound like a broken record. <laughs> um, when this COVID thing began, President should talk to us, President should talk to us, President should talk to us. He has had three national broadcasts three. within about five months. Mm -hmm. What else do they want? What else do you want? want? What else do they want? So people think because either you elected a president or you didn't elect... Are you listening? You must leave your president by the nose. Uh -huh. It doesn't happen. It doesn't <laughs> happen. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. <laughs> Democracy 101 Nigeria. For the country at any given time. Mr. Arishino, isn't the president elected by the people? Isn't he responsible to the people? He is quite responsible to the people, but the people don't 
have to lead him around by the nose. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you see why I call them the zoological republic? Do you see why these are the idiots they employ? Maybe he has one or two flats in Dubai because he's made money from stealing, from lying, from covering up. This is the cover up. You are telling me that the old Buhari is alive and this type of shady cover up will be going on? It can never happen. I shall have told all of you plenty of time. That uh, the man is no longer there, but everybody has been too daft to follow. Can you hear? It's his style. Presidency of stylistics. Amazing. Maybe the next Tinubu or me and that and that monkey or Shomole will be presidency of gymnastics. You can see him on the on the jumping like a little orangutan on the on the on that thing they used to do uh, handbar in a gym. You can see him. I don't know where he did his own makeup. He has now gone. He's now uh, sporting a mustache around his head. Uh, this thing. I got him okay. Old man. He wants to look young. <laughs> he has a very young wife, maybe. This is Radio Biafra. We are live and direct. And the zoo is vibrating. Everybody in my earthquake in the zoo right now as we preach the gospel. There is fire everywhere in the zoo. Everybody's on the run. I told them. The prophets told them, negotiate now. That's how he's a, he's, he's a miscreant. Leave him. <laughs> and I gave him a promise. By the time we are done with you, believe you me, Somalia will be a paradise compared to the zoo. And it's happening before your eyes. You are now seeing it before your own very eyes. It is happening. Nigerians cannot order their own president about what utter rubbish is that. Any civilized country will storm Asorok and stone everybody there to death. That's how sad it is. Because Nigeria is not one, has never been one, and can never be one. That is why there is no uprising. If you had Biafra, there will be uprising. If Oduduwa was free, there will be uprising by now. If Arewa was free, there will be uprising. If Middlebet, people will rise up to demand for a live address. Now you are demanding. They are waiting. The Chinese are working on their software. You are waiting for a live address, which you know would never come. What does that tell you about what is happening inside us rock? That there is nobody there. The presidency has declared that Nigerians cannot order President Muhammad Buhari around. Which Muhammad Buhari? Let's continue. A special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, said this during an interview with Nigeria Info during their crossfire program. Adeshina, however, assured that Buhari will continue to do what is best for Nigerians from the grave in Saudi Arabia, maybe. <laughs> hey, Zoo. Zoo. That is what is happening. That is what we must keep exposing. They don't even know the meaning of democracy. They have no idea what democracy is like. Channels, television, and NTA, they knowingly lied. Channels knowingly lied and have been deceiving all of you. Now that Femi Adeshino is saying that the programs we are recorded. So how come NTA and channels were flashing live, the live icon on the left-hand side of the screen? Please, the Chinas, I give it to Amaka to post. Somebody should post it, please. You will see that Channels TV said it was live. They gave them a, 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 a tape recorder. They slotted it in. Somebody inside the channels wrote live, knowing fully well that they are lying. Now tell me how you can trust such a news channel. Lying and deceiving the people. Do you see my problem with them? Lying and this. How can a TV station in broad daylight? The, the broadcast is not live. Why didn't you say to us, Rock? It is not live. Let's just play it. They said no. Live. They switched on live. And uh, Tony Momo collected his own share and put it in his pocket and laughed at all of you. Do you know what? I call you uh, zoo people animals. You know what they call you? Tissue paper. A used. Tissue paper. Which one is worse? An animal that is at least breathing and eating or a tissue paper you flush down the toilet? Which one is better? So you now see that I love you. At least I call you animal. They call you tissue paper. 
That is why they can lie to you. That is why can, they can put live. I am live right now. Facebook is saying I am live. How do you know I am live? How? The time now is 23 minutes past 10 p.m. in Biafraland. If you look at your wristwatch, if you look at your wall clock, wherever you are in the world, it is 23 minutes past the top of the hour. That's how you know I'm live. Simple and short. It was uh, uh, the actor, not even Jubilee, was the actor live, pretending that uh, speaking Bukhari's language. Of course, they were not live. Because you can also mimic a voice. So I say, like, but the voice sounds like Buhari. You can also mimic it. Go and, well, of course, we'll do that later on. Deep fake is called deep fake. That's what it's called. Go and Google it. Deep fake. You will see any face you, if I want to look like Yanu Reeves, I can. If I want to look like um, Peter Doche, I, I can. Just take his face and put on my face and with my voice. Very easy, isn't it? <laughs> hey, zoo. zoo is finished. Zoo is... Hey, they're crying where they are tonight. Hey, how come Facebook? Why did you allow them? Why? They're crying. They, are, they collect money from... They say it's a bunch of loot that never ends. After collecting it, they, they share it to the whole world. They bribe the ambassadors in Abuja. They bribe all of them to be writing their nonsense. Uh, Nigeria is a bit uh, stormy, but it is to be expected. Uh, things will get better soon. Uh, uh, President Buhari is trying. And I'm telling the world that your ambassadors in Abuja are lying to all of you. They are liars. They are corrupt. They are cheats, all of them. Because there is no Buhari in Asorok. There is no, I dare them. If there is Buhari, bring him out and I will give up Biafra. I'm making a pledge before God and to the whole world. Bring out Buhari for live interview and I'll give up Biafra. <laughs> but they, they, they know they don't have him. They don't. Whoever runs Channel TV, uh, uh, John Momo, NTA, you people knowingly lied and have been deceiving your so-called fellow Nigerians because you put a tag live on a relayed transmission when you knew that it was not live you knew it only those running an administration of a dead president will record a broadcast and call it live in order to deceive the word is deceive to deceive the people i am bringing you the truth and they are deceiving you they are deceiving you. When are you going to open your eyes? When? I ask you. When? I'm sure additional will regret uh, appearing on that uh, radio show. He will regret it. After not come out. Don't come outside. We have our own on your committee. Once you come out, we analyze everything about you. The way you walk, your body language, everything about you. How did we know that every picture you have been issuing of a so-called Buhari since 2017 has been fake? Very simple. You, it is called pixelation. Simple pixelation. We get the picture and we keep expanding it. Once you expand it, it becomes blurred. You will see two images. The old Buhari picture, the old dead Buhari, and a superimposed picture on top of it. You think we don't know? There is no trick. Bring, we are beer friends. Is it because we are not white? Is that why you, you think we are not smart? You think we are not intelligent as white people? Because we are black? Bring that trick from China. As you are doing it, we are analyzing it for the whole world to hear. And shame will be on you. Are you now following? So there is no need trying to see if you can deceive us. Because you can't. Only those running a dead admission would even care to tamper with a live program. Earlier today, I tweeted a piece of information that proves beyond a reasonable doubt that Nigerians are being deceived with new technology in hyper-reality face mask and deep fake. It's called deep fake technology from China. Deep fake. I will reveal that. I will show I will demonstrate for all of you how the whole thing works in one of um in my broadcast to come either on sunday or sometime next week i told abakiari when he was alive femi additional that's sex trafficker 
Non, est un sex, un sex trafficker. That's the type of idiots they have. Additional is a forger from Oluwole. Non, est un autre. Is a sex. She goes to a do state, takes girls and traffics them to Italy for prostitution. These are the people in Asorok running, running the zoo called Nigeria. Can you imagine such rubbish? And that was the idiot with her multiple fake accounts. Oh, Zara Onyinye, Emma Kai, another one, is it too dumb, whatever. Fake accounts. Zara Onyinye, fake. No, she didn't realize that we know who she, who she is. It's Loretta Onoche. That foul mouthed, sex trafficking, shameless woman. Without husband, these are the people running Nigeria. <laughs> there is nobody there. What that is looting galore. Once you you be there, and uh, uh, Mama and Dara will call you. Hey, my friend, uh, where are you there? They say you dead Dubai. Come back. Oh, there's money. Oh, come and take your own. Oh, they will fly in. They will make them presidential committee on on vegetable oil, and all the money is going. Loot as much as you like. Steal anything you see, you steal. Nobody's asking questions. If you look around, there's nobody. You burn the place. Put fire there. Light it. They burnt CBN, Joss. Burnt CBN in Abuja. Accountant General's office burnt. Where is the money from Abacha loot? Nobody knows. <laughs>